Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, doing what I tried to do yesterday, but I think I was too tired and the video came out weird. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about what's supposed to be coming up for the upcoming month in NA and fake Grand Order. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help out the channels. I forget to ask about that, but it does help out the channel. <laughs> And feel free to tell me what you're looking forward to. I'm assuming everyone else, like me, is looking forward to doing some events and waiting for anniversary to actually summon on anything. <clears throat> Let's get into it. So, um, currently what we do know is what's going on in NA, which is the Lost Belt 3 summon campaign. The Lost Belt 3 campaign, which is the catch up to um, Lost Belt 3, obviously, Sin. Uh, which you're going to need to do if you want to participate in the upcoming events. There's a Singularity Repair Support Campaign Part 3 going on. The Grail Front is still ongoing. Uh, I need to actually go and do video stuff. I was I keep planning to do something with my brother, but with the time stretching down, maybe I'll just save it for the final one <laughs> and do all the other previous ones before that. Tron Pre-Release Campaign Part 2 and the Tron Pre-Release Campaign Part 1 is actually still ongoing, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and then yeah, Nanme Yumehara 8 Dog Chronicles is what it's called in the US, and that will be here on the June 4th, or um, actually the maintenance will start on June 3rd, and the event will open up on June 4th, which is how these uh, typically go. And yeah, that's currently everything going to be waiting now. In terms of JP, this is really weird, because on JP, I think I've mentioned this every single time, uh, all the stuff that happened to them in June is going to be the stuff that's going to happen to us in July. July, the reason is, is that the anniversary is for us on the 6th, so all this stuff kind of has to move forward if it's going to have to happen before that date. Now, uh, one of the things, let's go right into it. So first of all, one of the first things is Advanced Quest Part 6. This will be coming out, it has not been released yet, and I think as of the recording of this, it might have been, I just got off of work, so it's very likely that it came out, but I'm pretty sure it hasn't. And this will feature CEs that will help you get grinding for Forbidden Pages, Infinity Gear, and the Octuplet Twin Crystals. So there you go. Simple enough, it's Advanced Quest Part 6. At this point we've had six of them, you should know how it goes. And now for the actual event, which is going to be the main big event in the actual, um, for the month that we have coming up here. It's the Nanme Yumahara. They call it Haikaden, but as we said, it's the Dog Chronicles, uh, which is a fantastic name. You need to have cleared Sin, which is Lost Belt 3, if you want to participate. If you have not cleared Sin, get your ass back in that story and keep grinding it up until you finish. <laughs> uh, there's a very good chance you're going to be missing a lot of it. Um, it's alright, though. There's no free unit on here, so all you're missing is some grinding stuff. And in terms of the actual event itself, it's going to be here for at least three weeks. It features two new servants that will be in Summon Quest, and in terms of the mechanics itself, I think they have like some kind of mechanic. Usually I don't look up the mechanics until I have to actually talk about it further. Actually, I'll talk about this further in another video, but the big basic things that you need to know is that it's a point reward system, so make sure you do it early and often to make sure you get it up there. Uh, there'll be expeditions where you'll use like dog warriors to send them out and you'll be able to get some stuff related to that, like this, see stuff like that. And the summoning campaign that will be related to it, there'll be three banners. One that features uh, Kyokute Bakken, I, I need to learn how to say that if, before I have to read the story for this. Haisen Lobo and Akuta Okada Izo, which is the all dogs, every single one of them dog. Funny enough, I think, why the, I mean... Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, why isn't Bargus on here? I could have swore Bargus is on the cover for something, but maybe I'm just... Let me see. Is it one of those situations where she's gonna be on the banner, but not actually featured on the banner? Or maybe she they just wanted to show Bargus because she is a dog. Let me see. Oh, she's just gonna have a bonus to it, but she's not gonna have... That's weird. <laughs> Usually they never take any time to... They always, like feature them. It's weird because they have like, okay, never mind. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's a little weird. Be the way, Bargus, don't worry about it. There'll be plenty of Bargus banners coming up. These are the three that will be on banner one, and then a week later, uh, there will be a second banner, which features the Minamoto no Tomatoma, Heisen Lobo, and Izo again. For summon three, it will feature Hokusai, Lobo, and Izo, and those are going to be the main ones. 
if you are someone looking to grind for Izzo, this is probably your chance to get more medals of Izzo, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to get them. But otherwise, most people, they're, they're waiting in some, waiting for anniversary. This trick of theirs, I see what they did here with, uh, with Tomatoma and everything, and with Biken looking as cool as she does. They really want you to summon before anniversary, and unfortunately, we know what the anniversary unit is, so that trick is not going to work on us again. <laughs> so, for the most part, unless you've been waiting two years for these specific units, you probably shouldn't be summoning on this banner. But you already knew that. I just felt the need to tell you that. Um, next, that's the main thing on the event there, and then there will also be a main interlude for the Ukyo that will release. They'll have a release campaign related to it. Um, in order to get this main interlude, you have to have exchange for free if the unlock can... You get this for free if these unlock requirements are met. Clear Sin, and then either Seraph or the Seraph Second Ballet, or the main interlude for Seraph. Any one of the three ways we've had Seraph is the way to get this. And the main item, the new item that you unlock is the main interlude Uko unlock. Trade limit one, it costs zero. The main interlude has the same mechanics as the original and the rerun Uko. So, wait, really? The main interlude has the same mechanics. So you're going to be doing damn. The, the... Oh, that's right. You get a lot of same cores from this then. That was the one of the great things about Ukyo is that you actually get a buttload of same quartz. So if they're keeping that, you'll get a lot of same quartz for this, which is good to have before anniversary, to be honest. Um, you'll get the, uh, the items that are also released. They'll be added to the shop and stuff. Parvati's Trial Quest will return, which you can get for free in the Rare Mana Prism shot if you have cleared Sin. Assuming you have not cleared Sin and then you can get it anyway, uh, and then you have to pay the 5, and then when you get when you clear Sin, you'll be able to get a refund on that. It only gives you is a single ticket and some little stuff here, and I think if I remember right, there's like a little story stuff related to it as well, because it is a Sakura face when Parvati released, she did have something related to that. And this is one of the things that really mixed me up. Sherazadi has a new interlude, and I got confused because they used the graphic for the old one. I thought that this meant, oh, it's the 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 one she already has. No, this is a brand new one that is coming. A uh, new interlude for Sherazadi will be added to the Caldea Gate. For the entire duration of this campaign, her interludes will be available even if you do not have her in her roster. Interlude 1, clear Agartha. Interlude 2, clear Interlude 1. Um... You should absolutely be doing Sherzade's interlude. If you do not have Sherzade and you've beaten Agartha and you hate Sherzade, you should do that interlude because that is the interlude that they had to do for the Japanese fan base to leave Sherzade alone. <laughs> it is a fascinating point in history, but the JP fan base, because of the events of Agartha, hated Sherzade and they needed to release a long ass interlude basically saying i'm so sorry is the <laughs> the equivalent of it and it's a fantastic interlude i think i actually have a video of me playing through the entire interlude and doing it all in one bit i think i do anyway um i think it's a fantastic interlude interested to see what the second one will be i doubt the second one will be as good as the first one but i definitely feel like especially after you clear agartha and agartha kind of leaves a really weird taste in your mouth and it, it does for a lot of people uh it's, fan it's a fantastic write-up afterwards. So yeah, glad that this is coming, gonna be coming with the Ukiyo stuff. And then yeah, there'll be many, these are the main interlude quests, but there will also be a summoning campaign which will feature Kama, Kiara, Sherzade, and Parvati. On the first, uh, for the first three days, it'll be Kama and Parvati. And then on the third day, that's when the Sherzade and Parvati banner will come up. And then the Kama banner runs for one, two, three, four, five, six days, and then Sherzadi does the same. And then three days in, that's when Kiara and uh, Parvati show up, and then they'll have an additional six days, and then that'll be it. So if you want any of these units, this is your chance to get them, but otherwise, again, this is just straight up bait. That's the reason why they have Kama in here, because Assassin Kama, great unit. I love you, I love my Assassin Kama, but in, in general, people love Kama regardless of anything. Even if she was a bad unit, people would love Kama. They would be constantly asking for buffs if that was the case, but that's not the case. She's a fantastic single target assassin unit. Um, and yeah, I really like Shirazade. I think she's a fantastic AoE arts unit, and Kiara is also a really good AoE arts unit. This is really just straight up bait to get, again, people to summon before anything else. So again, I suggest you ignore it. <laughs> you really ignore it. 
and uh, wait for anniversary because you're literally so close to the finish line. But let's continue on. There's the countdown campaign for the 7th anniversary. This is going to feature some crazy stuff, starting with the craziest stuff. That's right, five apples and two tickets. Those are the login bonuses. A ticket, uh, three apples for the first three days, a ticket, two apples, and then another ticket. There will be limited missions where you'll be able to get a um, beast footprint, and you just need to, for that day, clear a hunting quest, so just simply don't forget, like I sometimes do. There will be limited start dash camp bonuses as well, in case and comeback stuff, so if you're starting the game or you're coming back to it, I guess that's a perfect time. Especially if you're starting the game, it would be a good time to start during this time, so you can start building up for the big litany of banners that are about to be coming out. Hunting Quest Part 12. This is the crazy one. Hunting Quest Part 12 is really insane because this is a great way to not only get materials they've added this new thing where there's a chance for dudes to show up and say like hey yo this many days till anniversary and then they drop a like a specific material from what you're doing and then 1 million qp so <laughs> and then they'll also leave you alone after they do that so Get your ass some QP farming metal stuff and get ready, because I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of this. I would suggest finding a day with materials that you actually need. It'll be bones, fangs, shells, phoenix feathers, the hero's proof, and the horn, the, the kettle, and the gear. And then this one is the one I'm going to be doing, which is the one that features the comet shard and the forbidden page. Uh, and this is the last one, and this is the one that features the most QP. And the, every single one of these dudes also does something different when they show up. So look forward to that. It should start, this should start actually, funny enough, we do know the definitiveness for when this starts. Because it starts with nine days left until anniversary. So they're going to keep it that way. And the final one doesn't, it shows up when there's only three days left. So that means, uh, doi, 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 six. One, two, three. This one will show up on July 3rd, and then the rest will... It will start on the 26th. So there you go. This one should start exactly on June 26th. If I'm wrong on that, then I'm wrong on that. But that should be it if they're keeping with this kind of theme that they're going for. Uh, take advantage of it if you can. And then finally, the summoning campaign that comes with this one is crazy. Basically featuring a lot of the early uh, summer units, which is crazy to say because it's for one year, one, two, three, four, and five, and those are considered now the early summer units, but they are. Uh, one banner will feature the year one ser uh, summer servants, which are Saber Summer, uh, Summer K Q. I gotta stop saying summer in front of them. All of these units assume that they have summer in it. Saber Archer uh kiyohime mo um martha and then the next uh the next day uh, these banners also last again three days and then the next day will feature um altar rider and then nito nito chris as well and then the next banner will feature jean mave and ibaraki and then the next banner after that one will feature the Artoria Ruler, or a Saber Ruler, excuse me, Saber Ruler, Saber Bunny Ruler, Lion King, Saber Bunny Ruler, one of the many different nicknames I call her over the years, and then Carmilla Rider. And then the final banner, which will feature uh, Summer Kiara, uh, I don't know why I said Summer in front of it, Tomoe, uh, Ilya, and Brynhildr. Uh... Pretty crazy stuff, because summer units don't get rerun that often. So, once again, another bait banner. <laughs> Unless, again, you started planning two years ago, saying, this is my time to get these units again. I suggest you keep s skipping it, man. You just gotta, just don't look. Just look away from it, even though some of these CE arts are amazing and really nice to look at. You just gotta fight temptation, you know what I mean? You can't just be swallowed whole by the temptation of summer you gotta wait for the actual temptation of summer which is coming up soon next limited missions related to the seventh anniversary will be there which will these are the ones where you'll be able to get the different outfits so clear advanced quest one time you'll get a ticket and then clear it again you'll get 70 mana prisms clear another one 70 mana prisms and then clear that an advanced quest from the second batch again get the ticket again um and then the final missions are going to be summon using friend points for 30 times acquire 10 exp raise a servant to level 30 and then clear five times clear quest five times 
it should be very easy stuff to do, not that hard. And uh, the other stuff that you'll get is, again, another 70 mana prisms, a ticket, Neko Mash, and an outfit, which is a, called the Soya High School Uniform. There's Neko Mash. Fucking fantastic stuff here. And the anniversary CEs will all be themed to different things. If you want a specific one, um, be careful because <laughs> some of these are going to be locked behind doing the lost belts. Like, for example, in, in if you want to get Kama, Taigon, Wong, you have to clear lost belt one. If you want Krimhild, you need to have cleared Gutter de Merang, which is lost belt two. Uh, for Anastasia and V, Dobrynya, Nikich, and uh, Babo Sif, you need to have cleared lost belt three or Sin. Um, for Leonardo da Vinci Rider, you need to have cleared Yuga Kshtira, which is the Lost Belt 4. For Barkist and Arjuna Altar, you need to have cleared Olympus, which is just very cruel to do to somebody. And for the final, not for the final one, I think there's more. Yes, there is. If you want uh, Moriarty Ruler, Charlotte Corday, Mendicardio, and Melusain, you need to have cleared High and Kyo. Again, these are not to actually obtain it. This is for the chance for you to obtain them. To spend your ticket. You only get two tickets, and then you spend it on two of these CE stuff. And finally, if you were looking for Red Hair and Percival, you need to have cleared Lost Belt 6. Don't fuck around with Red Hair. You need to have cleared Lost Belt 3. Not Lost Belt 3, Lost Belt 6. I know Red Hair was in Lost Belt 3. They don't fucking care. Clear Lost Belt 6. <laughs> it's, uh... It's insane to think that of the dudes that they could have locked behind Lost Belt 6, <laughs> Red Hair was one of them. But you're going to have to if you want this fantastic art of Red Hair on it. And yeah, like I said, you can pick two of them. What do you do with these other than look at them? You just kind of look at them. Some people co try and collect them all, so they set them on their friends, and then they go looking for other people who have those specific CEs and try and find them. Uh, so they can have a complete CE collection in their master profile thing. I don't do that because I sound it sounds like it would drive me insane. But it's definitely something that you can do. Um, so there you go. And that's going to be another thing related to the same anniversary. Again, two tickets, only two of them. Make note if they are not on here. If you if one of the dudes that you like is locked behind them, which th there are actually a lot of good dudes locked behind them. <sighs> Next, Advanced Quest Part 7. This one will feature CE, a lot of them, for the Bloodstone Tears, the Shells, the Fluid, the Phoenix Feather, once, uh, Forbidden Pages, Gears, and Ash. Those are the ones that are going to be applied for this one. Uh, yep, Advanced Quest Part 7. And finally, um, it will not happen in June, but July 6th is our anniversary. And that is when uh, all shit hits the fan, all hands on deck, prepare for everything. That's what this month is, basically. It is prepare, make your final preparations. Pray to your gods, collect your Saint Quartz, do what you need to do, catch up on the story, <laughs> all the things, play the events if you're already caught up in everything, and literally just chill and wait, man. It's, uh, there's gonna be stuff to do in the month, there's even gonna be stuff to summon for in the month, but it's unfortunate because it's all stuff that you have to avoid. And this is, again, not even me knowing if NA plans to do anything funky and funny and different. Another thing you should probably start preparing for is also trying to see if you're going to be summoning for the GSSR, which is another video that I've had to... I've been planning in the back of my head, I just haven't had time because I've been busy with a lot of stuff. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching it, especially if you made it all the way out here at the end. If you, do got, if you end up summoning, I wish you the best of luck. I'm not going to be summoning for anything. Um... I think I made a note of it in my, like, what to summon for, that Dog Lady would take, like, maybe a multi. And honestly, Tamatama uh, kind of makes me want to summon for him, too, for various reasons that I won't say in case you haven't gotten there yet. Um, but I've already used up so many of my summon stuff, and already so much of my luck has been drained away. I need to kind of save it for anniversary and the upcoming summer stuff, so it is what it is on that part. 
But if you are summoning, I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, hold tight, get ready, hold on to your butts, do everything, and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.